the first video in a long long time uh, I'm gonna be fitting the Worcester Bosch 8000 style in black I've really specced up this system just to make it as best we can um, the two port valve comes with the cylinder I won't be needing that because I'm gonna fit for the first time this integral diverter valve kit so there are various few different valves and they be diverter valve um, along with a little bit of wiring we can turn this into the most efficient system we can. Um, that means that we won't be swapping these after a few years. Everything's going to be under the warranty of the Bosch boiler and it will be a massive bonus. So yeah, I've got some little spray silver paint for some of the waste work. Um, let's move now into the boiler room and just show you that. Got the template on the wall. Uh, we're going to re well, drill a new hole for that flue to go through, leaving that one in. There's a window the other side, but um, just checked with 300 away, so that's perfect. Um, we'll get this screwed on now. Going to send some pipes into the ceiling there. Um, the drops are all behind the camera and in the floor above. When this is all finished, fitted and finished, um, I'm just going to have a day swapping over. So um, in the floor here, bring it this way and connect on. So jigs on the wall, um, what I'm going to show you now is just installing the extra two um, isolation valves or service valves, that's for the diverter kit. So our little kit will come with a set of these and another one. So we'll just get that on there, that'll sit in there like that. Pop some screws in. So, a bit of dust in my eye. Gonna have a look at now, just fitting the uh, diverter kit. So, got everything here, got the boiler uh, right there. Um, we'll dive in. Slackening off these two main screws just to get rid get that plate off the back. And the other one is just in there. I don't know if you can see that. Long Phillips screwdrivers forever helping. Dogs going mad in the background. Nothing more you could want. Let's just get a few more turns on there. I'm gonna take these blanking caps out of here without slicing our fingers open, like so. Dead easy. So board number two on, flue still in, a little bit of pipe work on the wall, chrome munson's ready to go, uh, jigs on, and then we've just got a pipe behind the cylinder before it goes in. So a little bit of work to do now, just board 180, and I'd like to use that for the multi valves, just to fly up and over it.
So before I explain all this pipe work, I've just done a little bend just to get us around there. If we push that too, with a bit of a tweak, that'll be spot on. So we've got both solar and primary coils linked um, coming out of the diverter valve for the hot water. So we'll solder this up now um, and get the hot pipe in for the cylinder. A few of the bits. on mostly piped up got a couple of PRVs to do and like I say connections in the floor when uh, the old boiler comes out so all that's going to come out as well flue obviously but doing it this way we should be able to just do a swap over in hopefully 24 hours less than that all right in an awkward position as usual just fitting some isolation valves making sure that if we have any maintenance on the tank or especially the combination valve up there uh, not draining a full cylinder just to clean out a cartridge or something so for a bit of a pricey valve today because of the spec of the job um, also it's got this nice little cool lock on it so that just simply drops down before I forget as well um, I've already posted this on Instagram clips of it and they've mentioned that oh you might not need um, a bypass as I did a diagram which is shown you in the video but I am going to just to make sure um, extra safe through the ceiling at that point there so boxing has all come off has all been removed and we're going to bring the pipes three maybe four of them along and connect I mean those are almost cut ready to go but that saves the problem in the floor upstairs so like I said um, jobs took a little turn not for the worse at all um, almost for the better uh, so I've got two runs in now, I've just got to connect them up, they're obviously loose and that's going to be the hot on the bottom, then the flow return or return flow, whichever way it suits that best. Um, so I might even have to bring a cold round as well for these. Um, it's not bad planning, it's just a case of the room upstairs is so full of stuff and there's a little like a return wall halfway so the carpet wouldn't be able to, we'd end up destroying it basically. So not a bad, bad thing. Also, I'm gonna to have to get my skates on and get this boiler out. Um, it's a bit of a gamble as to when to do it because everything's running at the moment and working. So heating hot water, do I just push on and get it done today or, you know, work up to that point and do it tomorrow, we'll, uh, we'll wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> I'm draining down through here. Um, as you can see, uh, what's that news up? This is a very, prize possession that is if you can see you can't see anyway PB plumber radiator key um, I get asked by some 
lots of old biddies can I have a radio key have you got one spare and I think I'm not having this one <laughs> so yeah as soon as that's drained down uh, I'm gonna make that connection I'm just gonna catch on the cold in that hole there and bring it on the inside of that wall down that one for these oh, sorry for that one one's a tumble dryer so it doesn't need it obviously but uh, and then we should be time to rip that out core drill the flue and just go for it right part of the old flue out um, we'll just get the rest of it out now um, let's see look at. there we go and then off just like that Take that just as we thought there's no tiles underneath so that's gonna want a bit of patching up as well as the wall it's all piped up into the ceiling um, there's a hole already there which we've used to just cap off some bits and there is the old one going to try and bend this around the cylinder for the PRV, um, fill it up with water, two stoppings and push it around the cylinder to create that perfect bend. Um, so let's see. So that should be full of water right to the edge um, so we'll try and bend it now Richard's here, what are we doing Rich? So what we're doing is we're taking the power into our safety limit thermostat so obviously if there was ever an overheat situation with this cylinder it would kill power to the boiler so it's part of safety. Perfect, we're going for a little nest aren't we on this one um, we've got lots of cabling everywhere ready to go and then we can start to fire it up, fill up and uh, be away, sound. Bit of lunch ready to go there he is, eating away. Eating away. <laughs> Egg exploding. How did it go? Yeah, nice. Smashing it. His eggs exploded. It's all going on the YouTube. Going to get him on there, get him famous. <laughs> get in there, boys. It's got to be sorted out. Just finishing off the last little bits. Peek over Richie's shoulder. There he is. Got some lovely cable ties tidy it all up they're gonna go in place there and a lot of conduit as well haven't we rich yeah what are you using your ferrule fitting box it's made a nice job of the wiring make some bit of kit amazon no money at all pay too and much pay too much <laughs> right so we're down to the last few things now i'm just gonna connect up these pressure relief uh, the temperature pressure relief and the one off the cold as well. Link them up into a non return waste and then tidy the electrics up, polish it, and show you. So, in a second, I'm going to show you this. Uh, I spent a good hour polishing. Um, 
fine wire wool. Everyone keeps asking how I do it. Brasso as well at the end. Um, I've used some sparkly silver spray just to get the waste pipe looking mint. Um, tying in with the filter. Nest gave that a little go. Just trying to learn new things really. Boxing the flue because I had to just get over a lintel. Um, and yeah, so here we are. The system that we've got is obviously an invented cylinder um, with an 8000 system boiler, uh, 35 kilowatt. It's running the internal diverter valve um, as well as a automatic bypass obviously. So just in case, um, it's got a twin coil on the cylinder, solar um, compatible. So in years to come, if decide to do that, but for now I have just ran both flow returns from the hot distribution to both sides of the coil. Just quickly before any of the uh, online experts get at me, swapped the two levers over, cold going in, obviously going to be blue and flow and return on the heating, uh, same thing so all sorted out. Running sort of thermostat into the cylinder that feeds back to the boiler. Um, it also cuts off if it goes to overheat, which is interrupting the supply. So obviously we've got a nest as well, which is superb. Um, the times are all set up on that. Wiring I've tried to tidy up as much as I can. Um, and yeah, managed to get the coal feed or the coal from to the expansion, took that behind the cylinder. So a lot of prep work had to be done before and to just get the um, backboard ready. Um, I kept the old boiler in as you could see right till the last minute so uh, really really worked well. Right so all that's left to do is to thank you very much for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already please like and subscribe all the usual and I will see you in the next one.